FM. Today is Thursday, November 7th, an odd day. I'm Maggie. And I'm Scarlett. And in today's announcements, tickets for the fall play 12 Angry Jurors are still on sale. The show debuts tonight at 7 p.m. with more shows on Friday and Saturday. You can find posters with QR codes to buy your seats. Seating is very limited this year with a unique stage setup for the performance, so get your tickets today. In the Career Center, a rep from SUNY Brockport will be on hand beginning at 9 a.m. to review transcripts and give instant offers of admission for students who qualify. If you're interested, make sure to sign up in SCORE and get your pass from Ms. Hudson. If you're looking for a sweet treat after school today, the class of 2028 will be selling some of your favorite donuts in the foyer. Two dollars each while supplies last, so get yours before they're gone. It's also a big night in the auditorium as the fall play 12 Angry Jurors opens up on the FM stage at 7 p.m. For more on this year's fall play, here's Phoebe and Zandria. Faithful Amelia's Trope 98 fall play reduction this year is 12 Angry Jurors. This year, the fall play is a bit different. Because of the small cast, the audience will be seated on stage in risers. The risers, along with the rest of the set on stage, have been designed and constructed by Chad Healy with the help of student volunteers. They have worked tirelessly after school and on days off, as well as weekends, to get the stage ready for audience members. Here is Ms. Breed, who has been the assistant director for the fall play for a number of years, to tell us a little bit about the fall play from her point of view. Something that I like the most about the show is that there isn't really a lead. Um, and in every small moment that each of the characters has, it's as if they each have the chance to kind of function within the lead. Um, there are many characters who have longer monologues, who have um, dramatic, intense, um, you know, explosions of emotion. Our actors and stage crew members have done a great job at adjusting the audience being on stage. The fall play re previews will air today during 7th and 8th period if you have an English class during that time. The fall play will be showing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Seats are limited, so get your tickets before they sell out. There are posters around the school with a QR code to scan for tickets, or you can visit the FM School homepage. We hope you come to see this unique play. For FM TV, I'm Phoebe. It's our first sale at the door or via the QR code on the posters around the school, but seating is limited, so make sure you plan ahead. You won't want to miss out. Some of you will get a preview of the play this afternoon in your English classes, but if you miss that, you'll be able to catch FM TV's Fall Play Edition tomorrow. And now over to Maggie. French Club will continue their celebration of National French Week today in room 2235. They have French music and look for a help creating playlist. All are welcome to join in. Patriot Club will also be meeting. They'll be in Dr. Watson's room, 1217. Members can come and help distribute flags around the school to help raise support with Veterans Day taking place next Monday. A reminder to anyone who would like to par participate in JV or varsity sports for the winter season, you have until next Thursday, November 14th to get your information into Family ID. Tryouts for team will be on November 18th. A representative from Community Wide Dialogue stopped in last week on Halloween to discuss discuss the upcoming Shadow Day, where students from Nottingham will be visiting FM. Here's Lauren with more. Hi there, I'm Lauren, and today I'm joined by Zoe from Community Wide Dialogue. Thanks for coming in today. Before we talk about why you are stopping in, can you first tell people a bit about the Community Wide Dialogue program? Yeah, so Community Wide Dialogue is a program that we do with Nottingham High School, and we have dialogues about race, identity, stereotypes, and how they all intertwine and affect us as high schoolers and as people. Um, yeah. Great, so you're here to talk about the students who will be sh here shadowing next week on November 12th. What should people know about that? People, the Nottingham students who will be coming are going to be wearing blue lanyards and they'll be shadowing during fourth period classes and they'll be eating lunch in the cafeteria fifth period. Awesome. So how can we make these students feel welcome while they are here? Don't stare at them. Treat them like you would treat any other student. Make them feel welcome. Smile. Be nice. Sounds like a great plan. We will look forward to meeting the CWD students from Nottingham next week, and we will give them a warm welcome while they are here. Thanks for stopping in, Zoe. I'm Lauren, and back to you. Thanks, Lauren. We will look forward to next Tuesday when we can make some new friends from Nottingham. In other FM sports, the boys' volleyball team is on the court tonight in the semifinals of the sectionals playoffs. They'll host Syracuse City at 6 in the House 1 gym. Make sure to come out and go Hornets! Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Maggie. And I'm Scarlett. Have, have a, a great, great day, day FM. FM.